Hey guys, what's going on? Paul here. Welcome back to another Cardano video. So this one we look at the post Charles put out a few days ago about something special coming in November. So lots of speculation about what that could be. We look at that, look at stuff that I know is coming in November as well. Charles talks about a few things in his Rare Bloom keynote speech that potentially could be it. I do have one big disagreement with part of that speech, so I'll talk about that one as well. Latest news on Cardano, I put out a video two days ago looking at some of the things going on around the ecosystem. I know YouTube doesn't give as many notifications anymore, so I will leave a link to that one below for anyone who hasn't seen it. Do turn on the bell notification, subscribe, comment, make sure YouTube tells you more when these videos are out. I do appreciate it. Let's jump into it. Okay, so here's Charles's post here. Something special is coming in November. And a lot of times in these cases, people will jump to think that this is going to be good for price. And if you've been around Cardano and Charles for a while, then you will know that generally when he puts something like this out, it's talking about the fundamentals of either Cardano or crypto or partnerships or something like that, rather than actually looking at price. And as is in crypto, the majority of time, especially in the short term, price does not follow fundamentals. In a bear market especially, it takes a lot to impact the price in a bull market. Even a sniff of something good can potentially send FOMO into the price and send things up, but not in the current market. So let's look at some of the potential of what this could be. So we'll start with Jed here because they were the top comment on this. So they put eyes on this as, is it Jed? We don't know. Now, one thing I will say is I did comment on this. I was hoping for a reply, but didn't get one. Uh, the Jed audit report is expected by the end of November. Launch could be pushing it. So the last development update that I seen on Jed was that they're currently in audit. They're finishing off some things and the audit is running. They're expecting that by the end of November. So I think a launch of Jed in November could really be pushing it. Anyone who doesn't know about Jed or what it is, it's an algorithmic stable coin. And I done a video diving deep into it and how it all works a while back. I'll put a link to that one down below. So I would say if they get the audit report back by the end of November, they will need to check it, make sure everything's okay. A lot of cases you will have small things in it. Some things might need to be fixed. So if they do, they need to fix them and resubmit for the a smaller audit just on them changes again. Hopefully we might see a launch of that in December, all depending on the audit report. You're coming up towards Christmas as well. So potentially delays maybe into early January. But if I do get dates on that, I'll let you know. So next up, we'll take a look at Charles's keynote from Rare Bloom. Now, this one's actually on the input output YouTube channel. This one came up today. Big Pay posted it on his channel a few days ago. And he also has some other talks from Rare Bloom as well. So make sure you check out his channel there for a lot of the different keynotes and talks and everything that went on over at Rare Bloom. So in this one, he talks about something that is probably closer to his heart right now. And I would say potentially this could be part of what he's talking about. Now, the part that I really disagree on is what's happening for him anyway. He talks about it being going down in Scotland. It's the Edinburgh Decentralization Index. But as he's about to talk about this, he says that Scotland is the best place in the world for whiskey. Coming from Ireland, I do really disagree with that. In Ireland here, I would say we have some of the best whiskey in the world. But that's something for another day. Maybe someday I'll get to sit and have a few whiskeys with Charles and we can talk about it in more depth there. But what's going on here is on November 18th, the Edinburgh Decentralization Index is going to be kicked off. Now, I have touched on this before. So I talked about it here in this video after the Vassal Hard Fork, where Charles put out a big Blackboard video talking about Voltaire and Basho and what it's going to mean for Cardano. And this post here actually references that as well. I will leave a link to this one for anyone who wants to read a bit more into this as well. So if you scroll down through this, basically what this is, is this is being kicked off in the Edinburgh University. They've set up a lab that's going to be looking into cryptocurrencies to see what ones really are decentralized. So within cryptocurrency, a lot of people throw around the term that, yeah, this is decentralized or that's decentralized, or we say that such a chain isn't really decentralized. What this is aiming to do is to look at the actual stats, review them and have actual proof of what chains are decentralized, what aren't, and where things sit in the middle. Because decentralization, it's not just you are decentralized or you're not. There is going to be a varying degree of how decentralized a chain actually is. Now, they're going to look at all different cryptos. They're going to start out looking at Bitcoin. 
Then they're going to move to Ethereum, then Cardano, and then start moving through other coins as well. Charles or anyone in the Cardano ecosystem won't be able to sway this or to try and push it the cardano looks more decentralized than it is because all of the chains will be looking at the same metrics so we can actually see then what chains are decentralized so i think this could definitely be part of what charles is referencing because decentralization is a big part of what cardano is all about so i think if we can actually have that scientifically measured against other chains that will be something really big and look how decentralized chains actually are could have impacts on how the different currencies are looked at by different governments and different regulation bodies into the future as well so another thing that we have then is the cardano summit is going on on november 19th to the 21st this is happening in the main event is in switzerland which i will be traveling out to myself and then there's virtual events all around the world as well so potentially we might see partnerships here. I haven't heard any leaks yet of what they are going to be. And actually something else that came out of this video here was mentioned as well that we will hear about at the summit. And again, will have a big impact on the future of Cardano. And that is the SIPs for input endorsers. So again, when I done this video here, I talked a bit about it as well and what went on in Charles's video. And he talks about input endorsers, which we've mentioned a few times. You've seen it mentioned on Cardano 360 as well. Is going to change how the blocks happen on Cardano and will really improve throughput as well. But he said that for this to happen, there are some fairly big changes that need to happen. And we do need Voltaire for to have it that the full Cardano ecosystem decides on these changes. So they have been writing SIPs, which are Cardano improvement proposals. And at the Cardano Summit, they're going to present them as far as I know. And let us know what would need to happen and where things could potentially be going into the future as well. So that could be a lot of what he was looking at. Because that will bring some really big changes to Cardano and really future-proof the scaling of the blockchain as well. So what else comes at the Cardano Summit? I don't know. Maybe there's something else that we haven't heard of yet. If you've heard anything on what could be going on, then do let me know down below as well. My inbox is always open to any leaks as well if you don't want to put it out publicly. So one other thing then that I think is going to be big for Cardano and hopefully we get in November is Indigo, IUSD and iAssets. So right now on Cardano, we don't have stable coins, which is a big hindrance to DeFi and really encouraging others to come in and start trading on Cardano. So if you look across other chains, look across DEXs on other ecosystems, then trading against stable coins is generally the highest volume. When you look at Cardano right now, everything is traded against ADA. But what you're doing there is you're trading two volatile assets. When people are coming in and they want to try and trade in order to increase the one particular token, then they're looking at trading against the stable coin. When you think the market's going up, then you can trade into what the volatile asset is. And when you think it's going to go down, you can trade into the stable coin to hold the value of your portfolio. So right now we don't have them options on Cardano. Jed will also bring a stable coin to Cardano. It will be an algorithmic stable coin. With Indigo, it's going to be an I asset. So I had Eric on the channel before to talk all about what Indigo are. And hopefully I'll be able to have a chat with him again fairly soon about launch. And once it does launch, I'll do some tutorials on it as well. Once the I, so you won't have to actually mint the I assets yourself. Once the I assets are created, they can be used on DEXs. So it depends on whoever mints them, if they use them to set up liquidity pools on some of the DEXs. So there will be a lot happening here. And as it starts to get into motion, I will be tracking it, doing lots of videos here as well. So make sure you do subscribe for them. Okay, so I did mention price towards the beginning and we're not really going to get into price here. But just to mention on this as well, something that I noticed was the volume increase in Cardano over the last 24 hours. So if you look here, up nearly 300% the volume in 24 hours. So volume was very low here, all under 400 million. And up today, was, or the last 24 hours, was over 1 billion. So as this was recorded up here, it was at 1.4 billion in volume which was a huge increase now the overall crypto market did have an increase yesterday we've seen that there was a lot of liquidations especially over on ftx that's something when i was looking through the stats you could see the majority of 
Bitcoin liquidations yesterday, which really helped push the markets up, was over on FTX. It's something I need to look a little bit more into, but maybe I'll do a video fairly soon on price and look into how things are looking in the overall market. But right now, that's my thoughts on what could be coming in November. If I've missed out on anything here, I'm sure I have missed out on some things or some projects that might be coming to the forefront. Do let me know down below. Subscribe if you're not. Click the notification bell. Comment, share. I do appreciate it. Talk to you soon.